एक्चुअली सर मैं पूरे फैंडम की ओर से आपसे मतलब बहुत बहुत ज्यादा हम आपको प्यार करते हैं आपके इंटरव्यूज हमें बहुत अच्छे लगते हैं एंड आई थिंक करण के जो बेस्ट इंटरव्यूज होते हैं वो आप ही के संग मतलब आप ही के साथ हमें देखने को मिलता है सो थैंक यू सो मच सर आप जैसे काम करते हो हम सबको बहुत पसंद है तो फैंडम की तरफ से सबसे बड़ा मैसेज यही था कि हम सबको आपका काम करने का तरीका बहुत पसंद है मतलब बहुत अच्छा लगता है थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच आई आई रीड ऑल द ऑल द ट्वीट्स व्हिच आर व्हिच यू गाइस पोस्ट एंड यू नो आई थिंक दैट इज दैट इज ऑलवेज द इंटेंशन दैट अम to get get into like a like a conversation with with any celebrity and uh, okay. try and get certain certain uh, inputs from them which which you sh- usually are not asked to them uh, which can be interesting for for people who follow them uh, so that is what the intention is and we hota hai ko connect hota hai ki that the baat ki baat hai ki i think he karan is uh, is very good with communication he, he speaks very well um he's got a good vocabulary he he has a thought process which is uh which is not regular he doesn't um, he doesn't speak to to please anyone you know which is okay. which is always the the hallmark of of I, i believe a star any star would never want to say things to please anyone or to uh just play to the gallery he has a certain viewpoint about things um uh, based on his own experiences and he expresses his thoughts accordingly so that element of honesty is something that i think makes him what he is thank you sir thank you sir thank you so much so candy uh, kafi uh, sare questions hain sir ke liye so uh, hum ne upar maine ek tweet share kiya usme se questions please read karte jana bahut sare hain actually hello riya um sir ek question hai ke uh, from smriti regmi that uh, you have seen many people in the industry growing and becoming big stars uh, so uh, what are your views uh, with uh, with regards to karan and his professional growth and how do you see him placed in say in the next few years or something like that you know i'll tell you something honestly i i don't get into that that element of prediction sort of things because you know um it's not fair uh, like i think f- f- for anyone whatsoever i can i can tell you what i think about the way his stardom is now i can i can talk about that yeah so, that's what sir like how you know, do you see how do you see karan growing like how no no it is i mean from your perspective how do you see karan growing no no i think i think i think it's uh, you know one thing from my experience i can gauge the fact when a certain fandom is organic and when it is when there are teams working on it you know but teams in the sense ki that there are digital teams and uh, there are trends that tend to happen which are manufactured so firstly this his entire in the way it, it it functions it is organic so uh, he tends to i think inspire a lot of people and he that's something which which is very obvious and uh, if you can do that uh, i think that's that's a that's a huge sort of achievement i told him that um, there have been records with regards to his instagram live and and all those things as well which is which which shows his popularity and the best part is that that, that you know he's he's not very cutthroat that he wants to excel he's is very um, um very hard working but he's not like you know that that i would do anything to to get ahead in life and um, which is which is something i think um the hallmark of of big stars and I, i'll give you some examples like for example whenever i've spoken to say charo or say amir for example i'm just giving two random examples that what is the usp of their film and why should people come in watch their watch their film so i don't ask this question anymore i i, I must have asked it like right in the beginning and uh, you know their approach is and even even salman for example they say that uh, we can tell you what is there in the film whether you want to come and watch the film or not watch the film it's up to you we are not going to force you we are not begging you to come 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 to the cinema or to watch the film it's up to you if you like the promo If, if if you like what we are saying then you make up your mind after that now you know that is what stardom is all about 
that you don't have to hard sell yourself and your your work in itself will 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 take take that element forward so th- that is something that that i tend to notice as far as karan is concerned that you know he made his best effort to win the big boss but the fact that he could not uh, be the winner he did not take it to heart you know he was he was not really uh, bitching about anyone he was not um saying unpleasant things about anyone generally he was in fact he was uh, he had uh, more or less nice things to say about almost everyone when i when i spoke to him after the after the the show you know that is what a star is all about that he or she is secure in his own way in his own space he is hard working will make the best possible effort but then move on yeah thank you sir thank you so much and uh, sam you want sir, to one, ask you question chobit sir ha ha sir one of the question is ki we have all, always seen you interviewing karan on a very serious note to kya aap log off camera kuch fun banters karte ho thoda chill out karte ho ki hamesha serious mood mein rehte ho you know jaise maine aapse aapse maine pehle bhi maine aapse zikr kiya ki you know i have noticed at times certain certain anchors or journalists they they tend to get too pali pali with stars that is like off camera before the, before the interview after the interview and um other stuff you know so my approach is that uh, i don't make any extra efforts you know it's the comfort level of any star um how he or she is is before or after the interview so you know i i uh, someone asked me that uh, how does it feel that uh, shahrukh khan is such a good friend of yours i said i corrected that person immediately that i i will never claim that shahrukh khan is my friend i have done many interviews with him i think he likes me i have a lot of respect for him but i will never claim that he is my friend because you know being a friend is is a different thing when you are a professional you have work relationships and they can be based on mutual respect and the fact that your effort like my effort is that i should not misrepresent any of the stars that i interview so my approach is that uh, i am willing to come second but i don't want to come first by doing something sensational giving up like a false headline or anything of that sort that is something that i don't want to do but that is that is my ethics so it's not that i look at things that you know he's my friend or he's is i'm very friendly with him i will never claim that if i have respect for someone i have many good relationships but they are based on that element of mutual respect and many of these stars they want to be interviewed by me after all these years so somewhere they they know that i will not misrepresent them and the fact that i have never made extra efforts to get close to them ap- apart from work so maybe that that gives that that gives an element of respect that maybe they have for me So they is just work related entirely so that is something which i have with with with, uh, with karan as well so like say the recent interview with that he just did i presented him my my book and he was very gracious um he was very happy with it and he said that he'll read it and all that uh but that's about it nothing nothing else about him and he obviously he promised that he'll do like an interview with with just me to just be very soon and because the pager and fans they have been requesting for a very long time so that is something that he committed and he said that uh, we'll do it very soon that's about it sir the next question is that uh, like whenever you and karan have a chat together it feels like two intellectual person talking so we wonder if uh, you and kk both have the same educational interest like you know he we know that he likes geopolitics history etc so question for you is that do you also have similar share similar interests and uh, if we can get a podcast interview of the two of you on that will it be possible i would love to do that yeah that uh, uh, I, i would love to do that um like you know i'll tell you something honestly i, I this is this is something that i believe that uh, you cannot forcefully have an intellectual discussion you can you can have a good conversation if two people maybe somehow we are on the same wavelength 
because see when i'm getting the sort of responses that i tend to do uh, with with karan then obviously i will i will go in the in the similar direction because i understand his is uh, his level of intellect and uh, how how much he is aware of about things and his vocabulary and all those things so there is no there is no plan that uh, you can have an intellectual conversation because i think you should never try to do that the the aim always should be that the conversation should be simple so that people can understand that and maybe somehow it can make a difference in their lives like for example so, say, for example his his fan fan base they want to hear certain things about him maybe and uh, let's talk about it and then let's just flow so that is the aim so there is no conscious to see but i would love to do a podcast with him i would absolutely love that and uh, the, the the topics that you have mentioned uh, i would love to do that yeah i think an impromptu interview is always i mean a impromptu chat is always the best when you know you can hear each other's perspective better rather than a planned one so you know uh, i find it so fascinating uh, when when there are so many people who are interested in in any star whatsoever that in a way drives me more as well because i know that this conversation will be worth something because and a certain amount of people are going to be watching it so there are so many things that i feel that i've still not spoken to karan about in terms of how he how he started and how the journey was um, what sort of people inspired him what sort of people helped him what sort of struggle he had how his family contributed so there are so many questions that that, that i've not uh, asked him yet so we can we can we can explore so many aspects so hopefully hopefully we'll get we'll get time hi faridun sir thank you for accepting our invitation and come here me most welcome thank you very much there are some question for you as well so i would like to read out those questions uh from your fans as well so sir how did you started your journey as a entertainment journalist your first question aapke liye yeah it's been a long time actually i did my course in times school of journalism in times of india in delhi and i worked in sun magazine then asian age written for a lot of newspapers um, i think all the main main line newspapers um and digital thing just happened um i was never i'm basically i'm a trained uh, print journalist uh, video just happened and um uh i i joined india fm which, which now is called bollywood angama and um i just kept on learning and uh, that's about it there is actually more like a request to sir that uh they want to see karan's parents interview with you about karan i would love to do that i would love to do yeah that. i was about to say that i would love to do that and he and spoke about this in the interview mm-hmm. on the last interview and uh, i would love to do that uh, sir one more question was like uh, your perspective about karan as a j- uh, jailer in the in the ott show lock up so few fans are asking like your perspective or your take on him as a jailer in lock up uh yeah you know i think uh, to be honest i have not really followed uh, this this show that much i've been traveling quite a bit of late but uh, i think uh, the response has been tremendous as far as he is concerned and uh, i spoke to uh, one of the contestants tasin punawala um and uh, he had great things to say about karan that it was a great experience interacting with karan uh, we are sure that uh, uh, you are aware of it there was a time when many narr- negative narratives were said and written and talked about karan in media but what made you have faith in him as a member of media journalist thanks uh, thank you and many other such media people for this faith and to not follow blind journalism you know i'll tell you something honestly um jaise maine pehle bhi maine kaha that you know i think one of the reasons why uh, so many stars they 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 trust me and they 
they continue to do interviews with me after even after so many years is because of the fact that uh, i i try really hard not to misrepresent them and uh, apart from that uh, so as far as you know friends concern so there are all sorts of things that people say there are all sorts of things so the idea is that it's very easy to you should not do anything that uh, that is maybe not ethical somehow so i consciously try and stay away from any such thing for anyone so uh, even even with with karan sir for example i would rather make my assessment based on my experience with him rather than what i'm reading say on social media or the way other people they are they are talking about him um usually i've i've, I've heard good things about him from other people and um, my personal experience is good with him as well so that is the main reason why uh, i say what i say and um beyond the point i don't follow you know all these things and who is saying negative about who these are all transitory these things will change these things will change you should just keep your calm and keep working and be the person that you are retain your try and just keep a calm head and ensure that your mental health is is in proper order and everything that's about it so i really don't give much credence to all these negative stories about anyone not merely karan but about anyone there is a one more question sir is there any bts video of your and karan's interview <laughs> okay i'll check that <laughs> i'll check that let me check that yeah if I'll you have that. yeah it's a request to post for us please i'll 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 show it like that and there is one more request that sir uh, we want a little bit more longer interview with you and karan you know it's I, very I, short I for would, us i would love to do that and as, as i mentioned to you the rapid fire is still not out it will be coming very soon and uh, secondly uh, these interviews were were happening for the show and there were other people who were waiting as well so there is a one more question that you interviewed shahnaz as well so is uh, there any similarity between shahnaz and uh, karan because they both are punjabis you know i, I think one similarity that i can think of is uh, that element of honesty they they say what is there in their heart and i think that is something which which can be the uh, as far as the similarities concerned and about dance divani sir uh, like uh, there's a question uh, how come karan uh, took this project as a anchor when he is not a dancer yes yeah, so you don't have to be a dancer to be a did you ask host. about it you don't have to be a dancer to be a host so because i think the job of the host is uh, is 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 uh, in a way to be the sutradhar and to be just just to just connect and as we mentioned in the interview that we went to jaipur and to meet certain contestants and so you don't have to be a dancer per se uh, and one thing that you know i would like to share the, the observation that i had uh, because he was right in front of me um so the zoom call interview that we did and uh, he had just come out of big boss and i felt that uh, he was far more leaner during this interview i think he has lost weight and uh, it seems that he is taking care of his diet and his his fitness like very very aggressively and it, it's very apparent um uh, he looked far younger than what what uh, and and fitter than what he did post the big boss interview so i think uh, i think that's always a good news for any any artist uh, that you take care of your grooming and your health and your fitness so a few of the cringe questions It's totally up to you whether you want to answer or not. <laughs> because Karan Kundra fangirls want to know. So, so a few of the questions which are very cringe, but it's totally up to you. You want to answer or not? But Karan Kundra fangirls want to know. Please go ahead. Please, please go ahead. So ahem. whenever you meet Karan or any of your female friends, does they go off or K Kundra? Does they go off or K Kundra? <laughs> yeah, any of your female friends are very fond of Karan. His looks, his charm. his way of conducting himself and dressing style <clears throat> you know I, i think you've given me a question now so during my maybe uh, <laughs> uh, I, i will be asking this question now to some of the contestants maybe i could have asked us to rashmi desai 
a rapid fire is coming no because they want to know any of your any of your female celebrities have told you mera karan se baat karwa dena and all like, you know as i told you as i told you i try and not get into this sort of um, informal relationship with anyone I'll, i as i mentioned to you earlier that um i don't get into a space uh, which uh, which is something that um, is too pali pali and uh, too over friendly or anything of that sort um i try and keep my distance i don't go to parties um and um whatever you see of of me in terms of um, having that comfort level with the artist that is entirely for the cameras apart from that i tend to be reserved i'll be honest so i don't get into those questions so they they, they would not get into that those questions with me so i'm sorry <laughs> Thank you, sir, for answering such questions and entertaining such questions. Most welcome. So, one last question, which was I think missed out, was uh, how does Karan uh, handle all the neg? Sometimes, whatever trollings go on in social media and you know elsewhere, how does he handle those those negativities? You know, I really would not know because I think he'll be the best person to answer that. Uh, but generally, I, you know, I've I've. i have noticed him to be uh, very cool and calm and um like a friendly person you know someone who is uh, as i mentioned to you earlier who's who's not overtly ambitious in terms of that i'll do anything to please people and um, he just tends to be himself i think and uh, anyone who can be himself or herself um will be able to handle negativity pretty well and beyond a point once you have the experience trolling would not matter to you like say for example there are times when i tend to be trolled for, for no rhyme or reason <laughs> for absolutely no rhyme or reason and uh, it baffles me so i just simply don't react to it like you know that uh, um there's no point so I think he. I think uh, he'll be the best person to answer that. Ah, uh, sir, so one question about dance divani. Ah, uh, Karan ka experience kaise hai unke ah uh, judges ke saath in dance divani. Us unhone kuch bataya apko? Yeah, I think he's he's talking about. Uh, I think um, Neetu ji was very excited to work with Neetu ji. Uh, I think Neetu ji is a is is a legend and. You know, I had a great experience talking to her because I think she is very funny. Uh, both of them are Punjabis and they they have a sense of humor, and I I think they they enjoy their food as well because Punjabis they they love their mm-hmm. food. Um, mm-hmm. So I think I think uh, from whatever I I I spoke to him, I think he's very. Um, I think Neetu ji is someone that um, he spoke spoke to me about, and obviously Nora is a is a fantastic dancer and Marzi too. so um, it should be fun because uh, i i think uh, as it as you mentioned in the interview that some of the kids um after point of time you stop treating them as treating them as kids because they're so good at they at they what, what 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 they do and um it's going to be a rocking show i think you know and it's going to be fun did neetu ji shared her experience with karan did she spoke anything about karan you know that the interview is is already out with as far as uh, neetu ji is concerned so um mostly we spoke about uh, the entire idea of of her getting back into you know um the mainstream Screen. space and so that that sort of thing and we went into a bit, bit of a down the memory lane we had less time with her um from what mm-hmm. i took what i was told that was the first um, uh, solo interview that she did i don't know if she did solo interviews after that or not i'm not i'm not aware of it but we were the first ones to do it and uh, they had group interviews after that as well so we had limited time with her so we did not speak much about karan so can we expect a broadcast season of yours with all the stars you know i've not really thought about uh, from that perspective but i'm told that uh, my interviews they'll be they'll be converted into into podcast that's that's what i've been told internally so i really you know um, for me I, i think a conversation is a conversation um, i'm having a conversation with you guys right now so um i love it so i don't really 
plan stuff okay, that uh, i should do like a podcast i should do this or i should do that thankfully thank thankfully uh, i'm getting a lot of respect and a lot of exclusive interview that 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 we are doing i did something with mr rajamouli yesterday so I, i'm told that that's yes i seen did. that uh you mr sanjay gonkali for example um, gave only i think one or two interviews post kangu bhai and he chose me so i'm lucky you know so and i think that's something which is uh, puts puts responsibility on me and i try and and I work very hard on it um you deserve it sir you deserve no, it no thank you very much thank you very much so a very last question from my side sir you have interviewed many celebrities like king khan karan kundra and all how does it feel to get interviewed by we immature kids <laughs> you know <laughs> you know i'll tell you something honestly now that's a very good question that's a very good question and i'll tell you why um you mentioned about sharo for example so um and i mentioned that quite a few times um when i interviewed uh, mr khan for the first time that was for om shanti om um and i had just joined uh, india fm it was called at that point of time and um you know now when you look at me and you look at my profile picture i mean so i i work very hard on my physique and i try and work on my grooming and and my clothes and all those things but when i when i started off um i i it was a complete contrast um i i weighed almost like 90 kgs and uh, my my face was all puffed up and um i did not have much grooming sense either anything of that sort but i will never forget the fact that uh, i had uh, this 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 interview with shahrukh khan and he was so gracious um see i'm a, as i told you i'm a print journalist the entire broadcast and video journalism that i'm now famous for i've learned on the job i've learned from my mistakes and just tried to keep getting better i was very very raw at that point of time i did not how know how to speak i was nervous and i did not look very 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 good as well at that point of time websites they were not looked at as as something really cool it was all about news channels many people don't didn't even know that you can have videos on internet but shahrukh khan was extremely gracious he answered all the questions on its merit he did not make me feel comf- un- uncomfortable at all um in fact uh, uh, the, the publicist was was urging me to hurry up he took uh, his his own sweet time to answer all the questions um so that i should not feel that that uh, he's trying to hurry up in any way whatsoever and um he was extremely nice so i'll never forget that so when you say that uh stupid questions maybe asked by you i don't think that uh, there were stupid questions at all i think they were very nice questions i had a great time so what i learned from that experience is that uh, never ever look down upon anyone that you meet in your journey everyone is is trying to say something they may be nervous they may be not that articulate they may not look that 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 perfect or the way maybe a lot of movie stars do but that does not mean that you don't listen to them so that is why um, wherever i travel thankfully people i'm very lucky that that people tend to identify me wherever i travel so i always make sure that i i just click pictures with them and i ask them their names always um and uh, i make that eye contact with with them for that particular moment that um, uh if if they have followed my work and they they are appreciative of it and they want to click a picture with me and um so it's my duty to make them feel nice and make them feel comfortable and uh, make them feel special so that they can carry it with with them that yes he was nice to us so this is something that i learned from mr shahkar thank you so much thank you sir, sir. it was sharing. a very nice answer sir. thank you very much thank you thank you so much thank sir thank you and sir thank you we will have next interview with sharukh khan or karan kunzra please let us know beforehand i'll do that at least we will send the question i'll do that so that we can hype that maximum Man, i'll do that for sure i'll do that i really want to have a very fine and uh, like a long conversation with karan and uh, um i hope it will happen hasn't been it it does yeah. i'm looking forward to that 
All right, thank you very much, and all the best wishes to all of you. Th- thank you, sir. 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 They follow, and um, you guys uh, are well behaved and cultured, and uh, just just maintain that. Being nice, I think, is Thank be, you, being nice is important. Being cultured is important. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so Absolutely, much. Absolutely, sir. Thank you. Thank you, you so very much. much. All the best.